Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 Plus tip for you. I'm gonna show you what iCloud Drive is all about. Now, when you first set up your device, you might have been asked to enable iCloud Drive. If you did and didn't know what it was, or if you didn't because you didn't know what it was, this video is gonna help you understand that. So we're gonna tap on these settings, and then we're gonna swipe down to the screen until we see iCloud. Tap on iCloud, and then tap on iCloud Drive. Now iCloud Drive allows my applications to store documents and data on the iCloud so that way whenever I jump onto another device, I have access to those documents. So you can see I have apps, I have games, I have different video photo editing apps. It doesn't really matter, the app, it's all up to the developer. So if the developer has included iCloud Drive as an option in their app, you can enable it here in this setting. Pages stores Word documents. And how that comes into play with iCloud Drive is that my Pages documents are now stored in iCloud and can be accessed from any device that I have Pages installed on. So if I have an iPad and an iPhone and a Mac, whatever document I start off on, say I'm creating a Word document on my Mac and I save it, and when I come onto my iPhone or iPad, if I open Pages, those documents will now be available on my other devices. And then I can start editing the document from my iPhone and then save it, come onto my Mac, and it's gonna be updated ready for me. And there are other ones like picture applications that you might actually start making an edit on your iPhone and pick it up on your Mac or pick it up on your iPad. It doesn't really matter. This is iCloud Drive, and I think it's really convenient. It's really useful because you can store those documents in the cloud and then access them from whatever device you would like to. And you even have the option of using cellular data, so that way it'll upload no matter where you are. But if you're on a tiered plan, I might suggest um, checking that off and only using Wi-Fi. And then if you don't want applications using iCloud, all you have to do is toggle them off over here on the right-hand side of the screen. And there's even options if you do not want to use iCloud Drive. Just go ahead and tap that off on the top of the screen. And all of your documents and changes that you make will either be stored locally on your device or if you use another service such as Dropbox, Google Drive, or Microsoft OneDrive, you'll be able to sync them that way. But iCloud just makes it easier if you're already using all the Apple devices. So that is a quick overview of what iCloud Drive really does. And for more iPhone tips, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.